You like your Lego? Uh -huh. What are you making? I'm, I'm making a truck the every key. Let me go and check on your sisters and see what they are making. Whoa, so what are you making? I'm making a house and it has a backyard too. Wow. It's good, man. I like the fact that you're just on your table doing it. No complaining, no arguments. Me, yeah, I like it here. Yeah. I'm doing this. It's a karaoke, um, it's a karaoke Lego set. Mm hmm. And I love playing with it because I love karaoke and I love singing to karaoke. So this was the best thing for me. Well, if I have three packets and I only have two, that's what I don't understand. Yours is a smaller one now. That yeah. is in size. Oh. Mm, that's why. It was on the smaller. Talking in my video. Cora, please stop. Stop talking in my video. Come on. Mm -hmm. you Come on! Sophia is such a great singer! High five! High five. Come on! India! Cora, why are you beating my child now? Yeah, I didn't want to more today. It's not for you to understand. Was it sweet or was it not sweet? <laughs> sweet. It was very interesting, okay? You are such a great singer and musician. You, you're gonna sing again for us, okay? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Do you have a new song to sing? They can clean your mouth. The kids are on half term break or mid term break, and I have to keep them busy, I have to keep them entertained. So today we're going to be crafting. They had these paintings, we made these paintings a while ago. It's just, just, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so this is mine. I did this. And Cora did this, and Ava did this, and Sophia did this. I okay. Little mountains. You yes, you can turn like this. So this is a mountains, and it's abstract painting. So it has a lot of meaning to it. Okay. And I don't want to dive into all of the meaning that this painting holds, but this painting is such a masterpiece. Okay. It looks Sophia, like there's fireworks in the Yes, like there's colorful fireworks, there are mountains, you know, there are confetti, there's an ocean somewhere in the background. Like it's so thoughtful and so meaningful and so wow. And the artists. And the and the and the most and the most surprising and parts that in the paint. Then I I would I did this. Yes. How were you able to come up with this painting? Because I can, I want, I I want to do whatever I want. Yeah. So this means that you want to do whatever you want, and you can be whatever you want to be, right? Mhm. Mm yeah. That's what it means. You can be whatever you want to be. So I have this cardboard here, uh, old cardboard. I'm just going to cut it into book sizes cover it with this basically glue it on and anyway you guys will see the end product i just didn't want these paintings to waste because they are you know I did, the paper is quality paper and i didn't want it to, it's actually real canvas paper that we used to paint it i didn't want the paintings to waste because what tends to happen is sometimes after we are done crafting and painting the next day two days later we just trash everything so i didn't want to trash it so i have been keeping it on top of the fridge for a while so now is our time to turn it into books. You guys, I said I need something heavy to keep on this. This is the first book cover I've made. So I was saying that I need something heavy 
to keep on top of it so it can dry and dry very flat and then Ava now said that me I'm big I'm heavy <laughs> so she sit on it these children they know they fear they know they fear but that was a good one so I actually laughed but it's not funny okay okay Google I need my best friend so much you're my best friend too and I'm not just saying that because you're my boss says beautiful sunset and Corazon says adventure. adventure okay and mine said cupcake love wow. yes and mommy said sing mommy zone says rainbows and daisies rainbows and daisies yes rainbows and daisies Cup handmade love. with love so we are done time to and this book actually has pages here. I don't have plenty pages. Mine only has small. Should I show you? Mm -hmm. Mine only has small one. Here. Yours has 10 pages. I mean, 12 pages. But this is sticky. Oh. How many does yours? Oh, well, 10 pages technically. Yeah. I like this one. Pretty. So, what do you want to write inside your book? I love um. you, mommy. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? How you doing? So my kids are on holiday, midterm holiday. I don't know if I've said this before, but they are on midterm and I've been trying to keep them busy almost every single day. But today we are going to be cooking and cleaning and just nothing much, okay? But just cooking and doing laundry. I have one set of laundry currently washing. Cora was the one that put it in. Sophia selected or sorted out the clothes. Ava helped to bring the clothes downstairs. So, you know, I just keep them busy with chores. But right now they are watching TV while I want to just quickly do the dishes. They've put dishes in the dishwasher, but the pots and stuff, I want to wash it myself. But how you guys doing? Let me know how you guys are doing. We are back from our vacation. And you guys, I know that some of you are disappointed that we did not film videos, I mean Nelo and I, but we just couldn't. You guys, that vacation was not for us. I keep saying it like, mm, it was for children. <laughs> we need to plan our own proper vacation with just us, like me, Nelo, and maybe some other friends, but just adults, no children whatsoever. Although I don't mind husbands coming, you know, because when husbands come, you know, <laughs> it's better. <laughs> no, I don't even want husbands there, like just us girls. We're going to plan a proper vacation and then we can film as many videos as possible then but this one was for the kids but we're back now we're settled now i think everybody's now back to our normal routine i've been buying food from hello fresh i don't even know why i didn't film it but i've been buying food from hello fresh and just preparing the meals it has helped me to like prepare different meals um the meals are okay the ones i prepared so far we all liked them but yeah it made things easier for this week for me just having some hello fresh meals and then we're trying to i'm trying to make us finish all the food in the house i do this like every two or three months i finish all the food inside the freezer simply because i don't like storing things in the freezer for too long i don't like it i've never really liked it to be honest like my house never my fridge or freezer never used to be stuck to the brim 
I just buy when I need, okay? So this time, since I came to the UK, I've been, you know, making sure that my fridge gets to empty and then I buy fresh, you know, stuff again. Does that make sense? Yeah, then I buy fresh stuff and I just prefer it. So I'm not doing much of new cooking. We're just eating up everything we have in the fridge. We have stew, we have this and that, but we don't have tomato base for egg sauce. So I'm going to be making some today. Cora is actually going to be the one making it because she wanted to make it i'm like okay that's fine so cora will be the one making it you guys please just ignore this somebody asked me in one of my videos that why am i always wearing this sleeping cap what did she even say see my dear uh, just ignore it okay i like the fact that i can come to you guys as i am uh, the fact that you know i can sleep one day and look homeless the next <laughs> I like the fact that I can do that. I've always been someone who knows how to clean up nicely if I want to clean up nicely. The problem is I don't always want to clean up nicely, okay? By clean up, I mean like, you know, look glam, do makeup, do hair, no. Like, I don't mean have your bath, though. That one is, I, I have my bath twice a day, even here in the UK. I, 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 can't, I can't do that once a day or just, you know, skipping days. I have my bath twice a day. But yeah, so I like the fact that I can slay one day and look homeless the next and i can be myself here on youtube so you guys please don't make me self-conscious don't make me start wanting to you know dress up every time i pick up my camera if not it will make me not even in, be interested in filming or make me not film my life the way my life is and this is how i look this morning this is my pajamas i've never had my bath but that's because i have an appointment later on today yeah but yeah you guys get the point i if the men find out that we can shape shift <laughs> They're going to tell the church. That reminds me, okay, so I picked up this camera to tell you guys that I feel like we're lucky in this uh, not ritual. I've always heard that in the UK, getting appointments is difficult, this and that, this and that. So then I tried to book an appointment. No, I tried to, I wanted to book an appointment for um, me and Sophia. For me personally, I had a health care recently and I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me just go to the doctor. Let me go and do my checkup. Let me make sure that everything is or let me know what is going on inside while I tackle it from the outside. Then for Sophia's zone, okay, no, then for me, I also have, they even, they, they sent me a message that I'm due for cervical pap smear, basically. I don't know how they know I'm due for it, but they just sent me a message that I'm due for it, so I should come in and get it done. I was like, okay. So I booked appointment for that. Then Sophia's immunization as well, she's due for one. So they sent us a message again that she's due for it, so we should book an appointment so i booked appointment for sophia's immunization then for me it's just my general checkup i do it almost every year Sha. i even did last year so i just want to go and do this year's own general checkup anytime i do this checkup i always get good results right but i read somewhere that there are some things that might be happening to you that don't show up on your regular test results okay <laughs> like for instance let's say you have um insulin resistance right i heard that the regular sugar test does not really show it i've done thyroid tests though and everything was normal so i don't know if it's thyroid i don't know whatever the case i just want to go to the doctor today i'm telling the doctor check me from head to toe let me know what all my vitals are saying um i have this wristwatch i'm not even wearing it now i have this samsung wristwatch that i wear that checks my bp and stuff like that my heart rate and stuff like that it's always normal but i mean it doesn't hurt to go and check so this is your reminder to go and get yourself checked especially in fact once you're an adult just go and get yourself checked it's no longer your parents worry it is now you it is now on your head okay you have yourself to blame if anything happens to you so go and get yourself checked um these tests are usually not that expensive but even if they're expensive it is better for you to spend that money checking yourself than to spend that money on something stupid and then at the end of the day you have health issues because you didn't check yourself so this is me trying to remind you guys and that's why i'm coming out openly to tell you guys what i am doing so that you guys can go and get yourself checked if you're having any uncomfortable feeling if you feel just go and get yourself checked sometimes i feel like we exaggerate how much these things cost or you know we exaggerate what it entails to actually go and get ourselves checked but the people that annoy me the most with things like this are men. I don't even understand. Maybe it's just my husband though and some of the men that I know. Let me, let me know if your husbands are like that. My husband doesn't like going to the hospital for anything. And I'm always telling him, okay, well, his own, because of the nature of his job, he's sometimes forced to get medicals, like yearly, not even sometimes. He's forced to get medicals 
because of the nature of his job, right? But I know for a fact that if his job was not demanding it, my husband would not near hospital. Ordinary to even take children to hospital self, you'll be doing face one kind, like doesn't like the smell of hospital. I'm like, you think I like the smell? <laughs> you don't see me well like smell now. You, you see me. Because me personally, if I don't have to go to hospital, I actually do not like going there. Okay, I don't like the smell either. I don't like the way, I don't like the, I don't like the whole journey of hospital. But it is something you have to do. Me that I've given birth three times. In fact, forget about the times I even gave birth. Do you know how many times I went to the hospital when I was battling infertility? Let's not even count that one. Do you know how many times I was going to hospital? Hmm. In fact, anytime I remember that my infertility story says sometimes I'm just like, oh my god saves me. Do you guys know how many times I went to the hospital because I'm I'm looking for a child? Not funny. Do you know how many times I open bonbon bon for different kinds of people? <laughs> And this one is for women who say, oh, I can't allow a male doctor to check me. I don't want a male gynecologist. I don't want a male this. Well, it's because you've not gone through infertility. If you've gone through infertility, like serious one that you are going for check-up all the time, they don't know what's wrong with you. Uh-huh. Sorry, my battery died. Uh, what was I even saying? Yes. So for those of us who, at least let me tell my own story. I don't know about other people, Shah. For me, when I was battling unexplained infertility, I went from doctor to doctor, hospital to, well, I didn't really go to so, so many different hospitals, but in the same hospital, I came multiple times and I saw different doctors each time I came. At some point, I didn't care. All this, uh, uh, we, not, we want to check you, open, lie down. I just, before I finish talking, I've already laid down. <laughs> before I finish talking, I've already laid down. We want to check, check, check and let me know. Like, now, looking back, I'm like, oh my, that was a lot too. But when you are going through it, you don't even start thinking about oh, who's. It's like when you go to go and give birth, right? Are you there thinking, well, maybe some people do, but me, oh, when I go to go and give birth, I just want this child out of me. I just want to leave this place. I don't care who is there with me. That you don't like hospital is not an excuse, okay? Your health is very, very important. Like, trust me, some of these. Do- I'm not saying that they're not bad doctors, though. I mean, I have my own stories when it comes to that, okay? I have my own horror stories when it comes to weird doctors. I'm not saying that we don't have weird doctors. We do. But I'm just saying that, generally speaking, these doctors do not care about you as much as you think that they care about you, okay? Um, I remember seeing online where some doctors, what well, there were female doctors, yeah, they were talking about how some ladies, like gynecologists, how some ladies, before they come for checkup, they will want to shave, or they're very self-conscious. They're like, doctors just like, don't worry, I don't care that you shave or you not shave. Like, I just need to see what I want to see. Nobody cares. <laughs> they generally do not care. So basically, yeah, my message is if you have to go and do pap smell, whatever, whatever, check, any checkup, general checkup, heart checkup, blood checkup, skin checkup, uh, what's in the color I want to say, teeth checkup, okay? This is another thing that many people don't take as seriously as they should. Go and get your teeth checked and go and get your cavities removed and you know let them put fillings in if they have to put fillings in let them do all of that for you okay you only live once okay you only live once you have just one life and aside even you know the risk of dying and stuff like that what is the quality of your life okay because sometimes people feel like eh, the person the person lived there uh, 95 years it's not about the longevity or the the length of years it's about the quality of life what is the quality of your life if you do not get all these things done or checked at this time and even if you even if you go on to live for a very long time what is the quality of your life okay so um yeah that's my message for you all so add the tablet hey it's Roshi. Mm-hmm. So this is that small tablet. I don't know if I told you guys about it. Like it. Then bring that crystal that I usually add. That green. Hey. The, what what? The crystals. Okay. Oh, so that yes. crystals. Yes, go and bring cup. We need we need what? measuring cup. Which measure? I think the one eight that be one eight. half cup. Half cup. No, not that one. It's not this one. This is Mm-mm, it's not that one. Now I know why they call it soda crystals. It looks like crystals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then I press on. Mm-hmm. So I should leave it like this. Mm-hmm. Then start. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, now you know how to do it, right? You've done two now. So, I can be leaving laundry for you, Abim. Uh, so, I can be leaving laundry for you. Yes. 
Okay. I'm gonna leave laundry for you. <laughs> By the time I leave it for you, you go no. Who later will be known as Abraham. Oh, what are you guys up to? So, um, me, Eva, me and Eva are mostly doing. So, we, I just remember that Father's Day is coming up soon. So, me and Eva are doing some posters for for, for Daddy. So, so, what are you doing? I'm drawing me and mm. you. Me and you? Wow, well, uh, what else? What about Daddy? Who is that in the middle? I don't want to draw Daddy. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> Wait, what black is? Sophia is the only one that has been using her book very well. Let's see. Let me see your book. Hmm? Her book that we made the other day. Sophia has been using her own very well. But she's using a lot of pages, you know. The book was it's, so finished. It has meant to be used now. Like jaga jaga. Sophia, you like your book? Mm -hmm. Wow, let me see. What did you write here? Read it for me. I love you, mommy. Is that all? Wow! Gosh. Cora, I'm jealous. Wow. So, who is this? Daddy. And mommy. And who is this? Sophia. Oh. I just say me. Who uh -huh. is me? I mean, okay, Sophia. Okay, it's all hard to say Sophia. Yeah. Yes. Me and you are just gone. My first attempt at making plantain and egg sauce. You need to add more oil. No power. Hmm? I, I mistakenly put it to power. So more oil. Yeah. More is better. Oh, Until it fills the whole down. Pour up on now. Why do you fear? Cook. No, to put so much. Uh, that's okay. Just pour now. Instead of it burning on you. Cover it. Cover it. Oh, it's already forming spots. And then, you need to cover that pot. Food. Uh -huh. Oh, <coughs> it's hot. The way you hold fork is so funny. Me? 
No, Eva and well, Sophia. Eva and Sophia. Um, where's Sophia's seat booster? I want to eat the egg. Let me try it with the money. Cora, bring um, mm. Sophia's. You like it? Mm-hmm. Nobody called daddy to eat and nobody brought water. I'm going to call. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. You can bring water. You guys, let me rant small, okay? Forget that I'm smiling. I'm actually not finding this thing funny. So, on a normal day, when I go to drop my kids at school, I don't really interact with parents or anything. I just, you know, take my kids to their class for Sophie, for Ava. I just take her to her, her class and I leave. Um, for Sophia, I interact with the teacher a little bit. For Cora, I just drop her in front of her school and then she just walks in, right? And on a normal day, when I look normal, when I look good, when I look, you know, correct, nobody talks to me, oh. We just mind our businesses. Highest thing. Hello, hi. Hello, hi. <laughs> Today, that I now look like a ghost like this. <laughs> Today, that I now look like all those Nigerian ghosts that used to look left and right before they crossed the road. It is now today that a parent decided to sit down on my matter and just with me, discuss with me, ask me questions. And I was like, which kind of a lab it is? I didn't plan to meet anybody today. I just plan to just walk fast to her class and go, go away. And yes, I know that there are other sunscreens that don't leave this gray cast or this white cast, okay? I know. I even have them, okay? I have the La Roche-Posay um, sunscreen. Somebody even uh, recommended it to me in my last video or two, my two videos ago. And yes, I actually saw your recommendation, but I already have it. I buy it from Boots 3 for how much? 20 pounds or whatever. I don't know. I can't remember. But now I used to buy... The one they will say buy to get one free, okay? However, in recent times, my expectations of a sunscreen has increased tremendously, okay? Because I feel like sunscreen is the only thing that I have not gotten down when it comes to my skincare routine, okay? I feel like sunscreen is that thing that I, I think I have been getting it wrong with my sunscreen. So, my, my, my threshold now or my expectations of a sunscreen is that I need a mineral sunscreen that has maybe zinc oxide or whatever. I think it's the zinc oxide that makes it mineral sunscreen. Anyway, I need a mineral sunscreen and I also need a sunscreen that has the PA plus, 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 four pluses, okay? So it must have, it must be 15, it must be SPF 50 plus, okay, or SPF 50 and it must have four pluses pa4 pluses and it must be a mineral sunscreen i want to leave chemical sunscreens alone so this one this is the bioderma sunscreen and it meets my expectation again i need a sunscreen that does not contain um alcohol right so this bioderma one meets my criteria but it leaves me looking like this okay which is normal with most mineral sunscreens that contain zinc oxide okay so i'm still on the hunt for a good sunscreen because i feel like that's the only step that i've not really gotten down with my skincare routine and ever since i came back from london i have been dealing with a lot of acne and spots and rubbish rubbish see yeah. It is well, I beg. Anyway, um, I have a ton of things to do today. And number one on that list is I need to fill these forms. You guys, the number of forms they gave me to fill for Sophia, that is her preschool, okay? Number of uh, forms they gave me to fill for her admission. I'm like, oh, Guinea, is she entering MI6 or CIA? I'll be waiting. Like, I'll be she enrolling in the army. But I need to fill them. Normally, it's my husband that will fill these forms, but he said he's not in the mood. Not that he's not in the mood, he's actually very busy. He actually has some things to do and to file, some taxes and stuff, and a lot of rich, rich forms that he has been filling lately. So he was like, I should just fill it myself. I'm like, I'm not cut out for this, please. I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby. I don't need to fill forms like this. But anyway, I need to start filling the forms, and I need to go through every single information here, just so that I know what's up, because we have a Zoom meeting coming up. Like, I'm supposed to meet... I think her class teacher or somebody that I'm supposed to liaise with in her school. I'm supposed to meet the person today. So, uh, not today. I'm supposed to have be on a Zoom call with the person soon. So, I need to read everything here and, you know, ask relevant questions during the meeting. So, that's it. But these forms are a lot. What is it? Uh. Well, a lot of it is actually what to read, not really what to feel. Well, no, there's some forms that are plenty. Oh, no, yeah, no, what to fill is still plenty. <laughs> but there are a lot, of, a lot of information for me to read as well. 
so that is my first duty for today and yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video have fun enjoy yourselves let me know in the comment section how you guys are doing i'll see you all in my next video bye